Shalva asks a question. During heavy uh, squats and deadlifts, half inhaling, then holding my breath until the end of the rep seems to stabilize the spine better, but it creates a lot of tension in my head. And on the other side, we have exercise like bent over row when I cannot hold my breath for 10 reps. So when I do just brace my core and breathe inside freely, what is the correct way of breathing and core bracing during the exercises? Well, Shalva, that is a that is a something you have to have a coach hands on going through you. Um, I don't do bent over rows. I mean, I mean, I've, I would probably argue I've done them if I've done them four times in my life. I, I, mean, I mean, variations and stuff, but maybe even in a circuit, but never seriously. During heavy squats and deadlifts, you, you say half inhaling, then holding my breath. Uh, really, you should have a full heavy inhalation and then as you move you should let the air out in a kind of noise on those um yeah you don't hold your breath when you lift but you do control it um obviously you know the bigger the the bigger the squat the more and more important your breath holding uh braces uh but yeah i can't um there's there's a thousand exercises and and each one of them might have a different kind of breathing pattern. Uh, one of my knocks on the the influx of bodybuilding into strength and conditioning is that in bodybuilding, you know, I've you can actually talk with your partner while you're doing an exercise, whereas if you're snatching and cleaning, you I don't well I guess you could, but I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest it with a heavy one. Um, so basically, there's three kinds of breathing in the weight room. There is that uh, recovery breathing, uh, those big, um, uh, I do that when I meditate, um, you know, where you inhale and then you use the breath to completely calm down. There's the breathing, which is that powerful style I'm bench pressing breathing. And then there's that more locomotive breathing, the, probably the best example I can think of just top of my head would be kettlebell swings and then there'll be sub variations on each of those uh depending on what you're trying to do so shelva what i would tell you i guess is that in the big picture there's three kinds of breathing and then uh try to adapt those three to the workout you're doing okay thank you